future self. Why were field trips ever invented? And why does it fall on my first day in new school? I mean, seriously? It is stressful enough to be the new kid in town, let alone go to, on a school trip with a group of people you don't know. Tomorrow, our whole class is going to visit the art museum downtown, and I'm really considering not going, or faking the flu, or losing all of my shoes. You can't go anywhere if you don't have shoes. School is hard enough, but now I'm being forced to actually talk to people about art and Picasso and Leonardo DiCaprio, or wait, was it Leonardo da Vinci? Whatever his name is, I don't want to talk to anyone about anything. Not on my first day, unless it's about music. Things just make sense with music. I wish I could talk to people by playing the piano. The world just comes into tune so perfectly when I play. People. People just won't tune the same way. I don't know. I guess there's no stopping tomorrow from coming. I'll just have to smile and nod and avoid any deep conversation or bring a really large book to hide my, behind. Until tomorrow, sincerely, your future, your present self. Where is everyone? I sat down and closed my eyes, oh man. I fell asleep. Now my whole class is gone. There's no way I can find my way around the museum alone. Wow. The piano walkway? That's beautiful. Wait, there's something written underneath. It's a story. There once was a girl named Emma and her dog Clifford. One day, they went for a walk to tend to the flowers in their garden. This particular day, they were feeling adventurous, so they decided to take the piano walkway towards the mountains. And as the mountains got closer, a huge blizzard swept over them. The winds blew and swirled, the snow windly about them. Suddenly, the trees began to fall around them and across their path 
So Emma and Clifford fled down the mountain, trying to go away from the storm. As soon as they stepped foot off the mountain, the snow cleared, and the sun began to shine again. Letting out a sigh of relief, Emma and Clifford started home for a much-needed snack. What a fun story. I wonder what that would sound like if it were music. It says, the piece was composed by four students from Salandra. I wonder if they could please play this piece for me. was art, but it was also music. I don't know why, but that actually made sense. The story and the music and the art all worked together to make something amazing. Thank you, Miss Alondra's class. Wait, here's another painting. Two pandas and a fox. And there's a story with this one too. Two pandas. Benjamin and Flutterfly went for a walk through the jungle one sunny afternoon. They strolled and pranced and rolled down a grassy hill, at the bottom of which they found a huge pile of bamboo. They ate until there was only one shoot left. Being siblings, they of course wrestled over the last bamboo, but suddenly the sky began to turn gray and cloudy and the two pandas ran into the jungle for cover. Unfortunately, in their hurry and fear, the siblings quickly became lost. But one furry red creature had been spying on them all the time. From behind a bush, a fox emerged and startled the poor pandas. But the fox wasn't there to frighten them. He only wanted to help. So after the storm had passed, the sniffling out the right path, the fox led the pandas out of the jungle and back home. Those poor pandas. I'm glad the foxes were able to help each other home. This one is also by Miss Alondra's class, but oh my, they are only eight years old. I wonder, could I hear this place 
be played too. Thank you, students. That was wonderful, so scary, and so exciting all at the same time. Those pandas were kind of like me, lost in a place they don't know. But I don't think a fox can lead me out of this museum. Maybe these paintings can be my fox. I guess the only thing to do is to keep following them. What's the next one? Kathy the cat and Martin the mouse. This one's got to have a cool story. This is a war between a cat named Kathy and a mouse named Martin. Every day, Kathy chases and Martin runs away. They run up and down the stairs, under the furniture, and in between the house walls. Each takes the other as an enemy since cat is cat and mouse is mouse. One day, just as Kathy is about to catch Martin, he jumps into a hole in the floorboard where he, only he can fit. Instinctively, Kathy reaches in to paw at him, but gets stuck. An idea suddenly occurs to Martin, and he begins to make his case. Mrs. Cat, why do we do this every day? I know you want to catch me, but you have your delicious cat food to eat, and I'm a starving mouse. In this house, we shouldn't be enemies. Why don't we try to be friends instead? Though surprised, Kathy loves the idea. After all, it would be nice to have a friend instead of an enemy. So from that day on, they chase one another for fun, then eat and rest together in the afternoon shade, happy and content. This piece is by Annabelle Bian, 
And here comes the music. Thank you, Annabelle. Thank you, Annabelle. I never knew a cat and a mouse could actually be friends. Tom and Jerry could learn a thing or two from Kathy and Martin. Maybe I could learn something too. Having a friend sounds fun. Well, if I want a friend, I have to find my class. I just need to keep following the paintings, I guess. The eagles hunt. Perched high in its nest above the forest, an eagle observes the horizon. Down below, it spots its prey. With a quick spread of its wings, the eagle flies down the side of the mountain, getting closer and closer to its meal. Just as it opens its beak for the final snap, another eagle swoops in to intercept the fish. The two birds struggle, claws and beaks, trying to catch the meal all for themselves. Our eagle wins the fight and stands proudly over his food. Instead of flying off, he takes pity on the other eagle and decides to share the prize. They eat together, then spread their wings and fly off, both to their own sunsets. Being performed by Ms. Alondra's JAC2 class, let's hear the eagles hunt.
That music. Thank you, JAC2 class. You brought the eagle right off the canvas. I felt like I was flying down the mountain and over the stream. I didn't know I could feel art like this. Let's see the next painting. A family of flamingos and a jaguar. The last rays of a beautiful day settle over a pond where a family of flamingos gather. They marvel at their reflections, seeming like another family of flamingos playing along with them. Delightedly distracted, they don't notice the approaching jaguar. In an instant, it pounces on the youngest flamingo boy and they disappear. The family gives chase, fighting for the life of their child. They take to the sky, hitting the jaguar with their beaks and scratching with their claws, all while pulling their young flamingo free. Suddenly, their youngest is released and the jaguar flees deep into the jungle, licking his wounds. The flamingos turn their backs to the jungle and fly off towards the horizon, seeking out safer waters. This sounds like a great adventure. Composed and performed by Miss Alondra's JAC2 class, here's a family of flamingos and a jaguar. Thank you, Ms. Alondra and JAC2. Every time I've ever looked at a painting, I only saw what was there. But these all have so much behind them. There's so much life to the art and to the music. 
I think I'm starting to get it. What's the next one? Blown into the wind. In the countryside, there lived a lonely cat. He would spend his days wandering the forests and meadows, and one day he stumbled upon a field of dandelions. Excitedly, he approached one of the flowers and tried to make a wish. Despite his efforts, the seeds would not fly until he gave one mighty blow and the dandelion seeds burst from their stem. Quickly, he made his wish. He was so thrilled, he burst apart every dandelion in his reach with his mighty blows and wishing. After every flower had been blown, he dozed off in his meadow, dreaming of the wishes now scattered to the breeze. Composed and performed by Emma Zhu, let's hear Blown Into the Wind. Thank you, Emma. That was beautiful. I wish I can make a wish. Or maybe I can't. I wish I had the courage to meet new people and make new friends. I wish I had someone to talk to right now, but I guess my journey is not over yet. I wonder what the next painting is. The Train of Seasons. The spring sees our train off onto its next journey, steaming under the fresh sunlight and through the wind, the fields of blooming flowers. Then summer welcomes the train, sending its tracks past the beach where the ocean crashes and waves in greeting. Into the fall, leaves blow around the train in the crisp autumn breeze. The winter brings a thick blanket of snow, leaving a vast landscape of quiet where the winter begins to thaw and our train flies down the tracks into yet another spring. A train through the seasons? That sounds exciting. This one is by another Miss Alondra's class, JAC2 class. Hmm, she must be a great teacher. I can't wait to hear it.
Thank you, JAC2 class. These stories and compositions are incredible. I wonder what this next painting is about. Adventure of Fred the Circus Elephant. A night at the circus. The crowd cheers for the acrobats, jugglers, and daredevils. Under the yellow and red stripes of a tent, every seat is filled, and the air is filled with balloons, the smell of popcorn, and overwhelming excitement. The finale of the show, Fred the Elephant. He ambles cautiously into the ring. With every feat, the cheers of the crowd grow. With a flourish, he finishes with a shower of bubbles shot from his trunk. Every night, the crowds fall more in love with dear Fred the Elephant, and he with them. To show his gratitude, their final night in town, he lets loose a rainbow of fireworks, creating a night to be remembered. Composed and performed by, oh, this time is Mr. Dimitri's JAC1 class. Let's go on an adventure at the circus. Thank you, my dear friends. And it's amazing how all these composers and performers are students, just like me. Those fireworks were unbelievable. The music made me feel like I could actually see them. I hope I can write about something like this someday. Wow, the paintings just keep on going. Baby Elephant's Adventure. Once upon a time, an elephant family roamed the African savanna. They ate leaves from the tops of trees, splashed in the mud, living contentedly in the wild lands of Africa. One day, the baby elephant strayed away as his family rested at the watering hole. The evening set in, the dark causing the poor elephant to become truly lost and afraid. Worse, he soon heard the cackling of hyenas that were on his trail. The baby ran through trees and tall grass until he came face to face with the dreaded hyenas. They began to close in when a great roaring echoed through the night. His family, the baby elephant's family had found him and their thunderous roars scared off the hyenas. 
safe and sound, they return to their grassy home. Another story about an elephant, but there's no fireworks with this one. I can't wait to hear it. Here comes Mr. Dimitri's Saturday JAC4 class. Thank you, JAC4. These stories and compositions are incredible. They make me want to go to the circus or ride an elephant through the savannah or ride a train through all the seasons. That would be a very long train ride though. Maybe I can start by just taking the subway once or twice. I wonder what this next painting is about. Planet's War. Sounds exciting. In a corner of space, there are two planets. One thrives, the other is dying. There is nothing left to sustain life. Desperate, the people from the dying planet seek refuge from their neighboring planet. However, tensions rise and the two planets go to war. But soon, the people are faced with the choice of destroying yet another planet with their feud or putting aside their pride and working together to restore life for both groups. A truce is made, the war ends, the people rebuild, and there is peace. A battle between planets. I thought arguments with my older sister were like fighting a war, but this sounds 100 times bigger. I can't wait to hear Mr. Dimitri's JAC6 class perform it.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was great. Next time, maybe I should play that piece instead of arguing with my sister. It might make her feel scared, and then she'll never want to argue with me again. I wonder what painting is next. Evolution. Resting in the shade of the jungle, a chimp wanders in his dreams. He sees a small cell floating in a body of water. The current suddenly quickens, and the dream shifts to a group of large and shaggy chimps navigating their way through a snowstorm. The wind howls and blows fiercely, but they push forward until the wind begins to calm. Sunlight peeks through the winter clouds. Another shift. The chimp seems himself. He swings on vines, climbs the tallest trees, wades into cool water, then pauses, saying a silent thanks to everything that his ancestors had done for him. Their journey to a new place, a safe place, where they can grow and make themselves a home. The chimp opens his eyes, sees the light of the afternoon sun dancing in the leaves. This sounds like quite the journey for one dream, composed by Shamavo Mazumdar and to be performed by Shamo Shamavo and his sister Tanisha. I can't wait. Thank you, Shamabo and Tanisha. I knew music makes it perfect. You see, two siblings, no arguments. That chimp had such a huge story and one dream. Sometimes when I daydream about music, it feels just like that. A story just going on and on and on and on. What's next? Blue Jay and Falcon. High in a cherry blossom tree, a mother blue jay warms her eggs, safe under the watchful eye of her mate. Suddenly, the winter stirs, and the father looks to the sky. With terrifying speed, 
A falcon dives for the nest from above. The father fights back, and the falcon retreats. But it almost costs the father his life. He's desperately wounded, but he refuses to leave his post. For two more months, he stands to watch their eggs hatch. Out come two beautiful baby blue jays, and their family is complete, living high in their cherry blossom tree. How sweet and brave. I can't wait to hear this one performed by Mr. Dimitri's JAC3 class, another one of Mr. Dimitri's classes. He is indeed a great teacher too. Well, let's hear it. Thank you, JAC3 class. That poor Father Blue Jay, he would go through all of that to save his family. Come on, where is everyone? I hope I'm getting closer to finding my class. They need to see this. The next painting, The Crystal Flies. On a starry summer night, 
A family of butterflies flutter through the evening fields, looking for food. A human child, marveling at their beauty, captures them in a glass jar, but leaves them behind with the lid sealed tight. The butterflies patter and bump on the glass, hoping it will break, but nothing works. They will soon run out of air. A flash of light, something is coming straight for their jar. A shooting star, fallen from the heavens, sent to give them aid. The star hits the jar, breaking it open and freeing them from their glass prison. Now covered in magical starlight, the butterflies are turned to crystal flies. Following the shooting star, they flutter joyfully, sharing their starlight with the evening meadow and everything they pass. Being performed by Miss Alondra's JAC1 class, let's see those crystal flies fly. Thank you. A million times, thank you. That was really beautiful. I wish I could see the crystal flies for real, although the music did make me feel like I could see them flying across that field. 
I'll have to keep my eyes open for them. Now the next painting says, Storks in the Moonlight. Two storks stand at the edge of a forest, looking out over the lake, and watch the snow fall gently under the moonlight. With a quick unfurling of their wings, they glide down to the lake, hoping for a late night catch. As they wait, a small fish swims by. Quick as lightning, both storks grab the fish in their beak, each tug on the fish, wanting it for themselves. Slowly, sneaking behind the trees, a bear approaches. Charging into the moonlight with a mighty roar, the bear scatters the storks who drop the fish and fly off to their nests. With a smirk, the bear laughs at the pair, taking the fish and trotting away into the trees. Being performed by Miss Alondra's JAC1 class, let's hear it. Thank you, JAC1 class. That bear reminds me of my dog, Bruno. He's always scaring the birds away in our backyard so he can eat the bird seat out of the feeder. He'd love this piece. I'll have to tell him the story when I get home. The next one, Dolphin Circus. Come on, come one, come all to the Dolphin Circus. With excitement and wonder, a crowd gathers in the ocean to witness the aquatic acrobats. The show begins and the dolphins race through the waves, collecting cheers with every elaborate trick. 
But there, an intruder. Looking for an easy snack, a shark lunges for the crowd. But not only are dolphins great acrobats, but they are strong defenders. They are quick to fight the shark off and restore peace to their circus. The crowd cheers. A dolphin circus, wow. Being performed by Mr. Dimitri's JSAC4 class, let's hear this song. Thank you, Mr. D. That was so much fun. Exactly how I thought a dolphin circus would feel. Night falls on Toronto. At night, in the streets of downtown Toronto, a man walks alone without a care in his mind. As he walks around, the variety of music playing around him seems to lift his feet off the pavement and make every bone in his body sing. A particular tune catches his ear, one that's coming from a nearby cafe. Fascinated, the man stops his wandering, choosing to rest for a time at that little cafe with the beautiful melody. Wow, I can't wait to hear that tune caught the man's ear. Composed and being performed by Miles Zhu, here's Night Falls on Toronto. <laughs>
Thank you. I wonder if that's the same melody that made the man stop. How did it make him feel? I love that music makes you think and feel and be. Just like these paintings, their stories make me think and feel. For this whole trip, I felt and thought more than I ever imagined I could in a boring old art museum. I hope this day never ends. The Avalanche. One winter day, a family was resting beside a lake beneath a mountain. The lake was beautiful, but they could only see what was right in front of them. The mountain would give them a full view of its beauty, so they started a trek to the very top. Suddenly, the mountain began to move, but it wasn't the mountain. It was the snow. An avalanche was rushing to meet the family. They didn't know what to do until they spotted a cave. They rushed for the entrance and made it inside just before a mass of snow rolled past. Once the avalanche had moved on and all was safe, the family continued their journey until they reached the top of the mountain and looked down on the lake on that cold winter day. Being performed by Mr. Dimitri's JAC2 class, here's the avalanche.
Thank you, JAC2 class. I'm glad everyone survived and they made it to the top of the mountain. That view was definitely worth the journey. Wow, these paintings just keep on coming. The jazz band. It's late. A light summer rain missed the few passerby. On this particular night, the musicians of a jazz band fill the sidewalk, fresh from finishing a spectacular set. And now, they navigate the streets on their way to celebrate. As they arrive at their party, live music flows out the doors. Another band is playing. Trying to invade our territory, they cry. There's nothing else to do but to have a jazz band showdown. Back and forth, each plays their variations, each tune more complex and more audacious than the other. After seemingly hours of music and challenges, our jazz band rises as the victor. They set down their instruments and look out. The evening has been spent, the rain has stopped, and the musicians head home, knowing that they are surely the best band in town. Being performed by Miss Alondra's JAC3 class, this sounds exciting. Thank you, Ms. Alanja and JAC3. That was a blast. Okay, so the next painting, The Mermaid and the Prince, a love story. A love story? Ugh. 
do I have to read this one? Well, I guess if I want to find my class, I should read them all. Here goes nothing. A picturesque sun sets over the beach to the cries of seagulls and waves crashing on the shore. A woman walks alone, gazing out to the horizon. A man stands in the waves watching the sunset. They turn from the sun and their gazes meet. The woman turns to leave, but the man grabs her hand and asks to meet again. She smiles and agrees. Every sunset, they meet and walk the shoreline hand in hand. One day, the woman doesn't appear. The sun sets and the man looks for her frantically until he catches sight of her diving into the water. He tries to follow, but the waves push him back. He persists, but the man is no match for the ocean. He begins to sink. He starts to lose his breath. He's drowning. There, a flash of color and scales. Something grabs him and pulls against the current. He feels a scraping of sand and gasps for air. The stars and the surf greet him as he opens his eyes. Then in the waves, he catches sight of something he can't comprehend, a mermaid's tail. Being performed by Mr. D's JAC5 class, let's hear it.
Thank you, girls. That was actually kind of really beautiful. Those girls are so talented and confident and friendly, and I think I want to meet them and speak to them. I want to ask them. Wow. Did I just say that I want to speak with them? But I don't even know them. This would have never crossed my mind before. What is this place? I feel no fear. I wonder what's next. Dolphins adventure. Okay, yeah, I can do dolphins. Out at sea, in the calm of day, a mother dolphin and her child play, leaping into the air, racing through the waves, twirling and dancing to their own music. A large gray fin suddenly emerges. A great white shark has spotted the mother and child. The dolphins try to escape the shark, now trailing dangerously close behind them. They swerve through the rocks and coral, where the giant shark can't follow. They hide in the safety of a small reef. After what seems like hours, the shark passes on, losing the hunt. Mother and child chatter, relieved, and swim off to resume their play. Being performed by Mr. Dimitri's JAC class, here's Dolphin's Adventures.
That was awesome, JAC4 class. According to the sharks from Finding Nemo, fish are friends, not food, except for dolphins. But I'd rather be friends with a dolphin than a shark. You can ride a dolphin, but you can't ride a shark. Moving on to the next painting, I see silhouettes. As she watches the train pull in, her heart flusters with excitement. The train has barely come to a halt, and he leaps from the stair, running towards her for a long-awaited embrace. Months of waiting, all for this moment. They talk about their time apart and share a precious few minutes together. The train whistle pierces their moment all too soon. In the rain, they kiss, the first time in months, and the last until time takes pity on the pair and brings them back together. Though she would be away from him again, their few joyful moments could not be shaken. The pair knew they would return to each other and that their love could outlive any stretch of time. Their goodbyes are said and he steps back onto the train. He stands on the platform alone, watching until the train passes on, until next time. Another love story, but that's okay. That's okay. I think this was really sweet and sad. I wonder what this piece sounds like. Here it is, composed and performed by Nicholas Afonis. So, hello everyone. Today we're going to do some singing in the rain, so that means we're going to be singing all together. Parents and students, I want to hear all your singing voices. It's going to be super easy. Our goal is to teach you the main melody of the song. So we're going to start very simple with just one note and we're going to work our way up. So I'm going to f go first and you guys go second. You guys will follow after me. So listen to me first. Ready? Me, 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 perfect, now we're gonna do so, ready? So me first, so, 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 perfect, now we're gonna start to work our way up, ready? Me, so, so, me, me, so, me, so, me, so, me, so, 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 me, 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 so, so, me, so, so, me, me, so, me. Perfect. So now you're all experts. Now we can take some time to learn the actual melody of the song. Exactly the same as before. I'll go first, and you guys go after me. It's just going to be a bit longer this time. Ready? So listen to me first. Mi, so, mi, so, mi, so, so, mi. Mi, so, mi, so, mi, so, so, mi. Awesome. So now, you guys all know the melody. That's it. That's the song. We can sing it all together now. Uh, yeah, so no more repeating after me like before. We're going to go all together. Ready? Ready? 
Here we go. Mi so, mi so, mi so, so mi. Mi so, mi so, mi so, so mi. One more. Mi so, mi so, mi so, so mi. Mi so, mi so, mi so, so mi. Awesome. So now we're going to give a chance to some of our performers to improvise, to do a little bit of showing off. And uh, you guys can relax for now, and we'll come back later and sing that melody one more time afterwards. I give you guys the signal. We're gonna sing that melody one more time. I hope you remember it. Ready? Here we go. Mi so, mi so, mi so so mi. Mi so, mi so, mi so so mi. Come on, one last. Let's hear all of you. Mi so, mi so, mi so so mi. Awesome. So now, at the end of their visit, the couple has to say goodbye to each other, finally, as the rain clears. So what they're going to do is they're going to say a goodbye kiss to each other. So that's what we're going to do. So everyone bring your arms. We're going to go like this. You ready? Thank you, Nicholas. That was truly spectacular. Wait, where are all the paintings? No more paintings? But they were all so amazing and beautiful and alive. The performers were all so talented and amazing. I could listen to them play on and on and on. What am I going to do now? I still haven't found my class. I want them to see that, the music, the life, and the stories. I have to show it to them and tell them all about it. But man, I'm so tired. I just need a few minutes to rest my eyes. Wow, wait, where am I? Oh. It was all a dream, but it was so real. I wish I could see all the living paintings again, hear that music. It was the best thing I've ever seen in my life. Eight o'clock? The field trip starts in 30 minutes. I, I have to tell everyone 
about what I saw last night. Mom, I need to find my shoes. Ladies and gentlemen, as we come to the end of this recital, featuring the original compositions of our talented students, I'm filled with pride and admiration. Tonight has been a celebration of creativity and musical expression, showcasing the incredible talents of our young composers. We have witnessed the birth of new melodies, harmonies, and rhythms that have captivated our hearts and minds. I would like to express my gratitude to our teachers and staff who have supported and mentored our students through this creative process. Mr. Dimitri, Ms. Alondra, Ms. Monica, Mr. Alex, and others. Your guidance and encouragement have been invaluable in nurturing their talents and helping them to bring the music vision to life. My sincere thanks goes out to our wonderful MC, the bright and talented high school student, Anita Wasserman. Thank you for leading us through this wonderful journey of self-discovery and confidence building. I would like to offer a special acknowledgement to Patricia Wong. Patricia? The loving mom and an inspiring author whose book Finding Hello served as a theme and inspiration for tonight's concert. The power of literature to evoke emotions and ideas is undeniable. Your literature work has truly enriched this concert and inspired the main storyline. And thank you for that. Another special acknowledgement goes out to our talented artists whose paintings have served as a driving force behind the original compositions we have heard tonight. We are deeply grateful to Natalia Ushakova for her extraordinary artistry and for the inspiration she has provided to our young composers. <laughs> Last but not least, I would like to thank the audience for being a part of this special evening. Your presence, your appreciation, and your applause is a testament to our students' artistic achievement. And thank you for joining us tonight. As we conclude the recital, let us carry the melodies and the memories of these original compositions in our hearts. I'm confident that our students have a bright future ahead in the world of music. Thank you all for joining us for this celebration. Let us continue to support and encourage the artistic endeavors of our students and keep the spirit of creativity alive. Thank you and have a wonderful night.